Okay, YouTube. Danny here. Uh, we'll start with the little housekeeping first. My Missouri Meerschaum. In it, I have some blueberry from one of my tobacco hauls yesterday. Don't really know what that means. JFK, I guess. Blueberry. Blueberry Hill, I guess, and it's from 12 1 of 09, and it's still really moist. Real moist. Anyway, yesterday when I put up a video, I had said that uh, I was going to call it raw and uncut. Well, I changed the name for some reason to Tobacco Hall. And there'll still be another video after this one. But uh, yesterday, um, when I got them tobaccos, like I said before, the guy had told me, you can have them, throw them out, do what you want with them. They're still good, which they are. I ran into a few um, that were really, like, dry, and I think it was the Virginias for the most part. Um, if anybody has any, like, quick easy tips on rehydrating tobacco that are in the jar. I bought some distilled water, uh, a gallon of it. I do have a moist paper towel in a plastic bucket with some tobacco in that. And I read on somebody's video uh, that you leave it in there for you know half a day or a day, 24 hours, and the moisture in the paper towel will you know rehydrate the tobacco. So I'm trying that. But if anybody has any other ways, uh, I'd appreciate if they can leave me a little comment. If not, I'll hunt. I'll hunt on the uh, tube to see if I can find other ways to do it. Because I got a few jars that are a little dry. One of them I was trying to rehydrate was a Christmas blend 05 Christmas blend um, but anyway I'm seeing how that if I can get some of that back the flavor and stuff like that but I don't think I will um, but part of the haul yesterday I went like I said on YouTube or on um, Craigslist and on the Craigslist the ad said which I didn't want to say this yesterday because I would have told you about my video for today the tobacco that I showed you yesterday all in the canisters the ad on Craigslist it said pipe stand two pipe stands fifteen dollars each so that's when I called them anyway. Long story short, I hooked up with them, got with them. Um, this is one of them. It's got a nice finish on it. And when you open it, of course, it holds six pipes. Okay. Very nice. Let me see if I can move this camera for you. This is what it looks like sitting down. And then when you open it up,
sorry. That's how that one is. Okay. The other one that I got it's like this. Okay, three pipes on each side. Hinge lid. Okay. Very nice. I don't know what this is for. If anybody knows what that's for, I, I don't know what that's for. And in it, he gave me. Lots of matches. Matches, matches. Books and books and books of matches. Okay? Also, to make it interesting, he had told me if you buy, if you're interested in the pipe racks for 15 a piece, he says, uh, I got a couple old pipes that I'll throw in if you're interested in them. I said, sure, I'll take them. This was all over the phone. So, this is what he had, and this is what he gave me if I bought a pipe rack. Corn cob. Nice. This one's a really cool one. That's like a... My finger don't even fit in it. Very small. And then this one, which I'm going to break these down. I'm going to, I already took the scratch, the cake out of them, took the cake out of them. And uh, I'm going to do the salt treatment. This is a Weber, W-E-B-E-R, 225. Okay. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't. This is a bad.
Anyway, that says Weber, 225. This one, I forgot what the name is, but I had taken the stem off. That's why it's off a little bit. Fairly good shape. I mean, they're not about to be burnt through. I still got to do a salt treatment on them. This one has a good, like a defect in that. But I still think they'll be pretty good smokers, I'm thinking. I think they'll be good smokers. And this one is the one I really like. I like this one. I hope this one comes out well. This one's cool. I took the the tip off. I'm going to clean that up. It's in good shape. Just got a little oxidation on it. But I really like this one. Check this out. like part rustification, part not. I like this one. This one's nice. It's cool. But I'm going to give them the salt treatment. I'm going to buff them up. Here's a overall look at them. And these, these pipes came with All these pipes here came with the pipe racks. So for 30 bucks I got all that tobacco I showed you yesterday in my other video. All these pipes and the two pipe stamp racks. I did go buy alcohol for the salt treatment. and kosher salt for the salt treatment. Oh, also, what he also threw in these are pipe cleaners. Really nice ones too unopened and then more pipe cleaners unopened so for 30 bucks I got the two racks pipe racks all these pipes all that tobacco I showed you in my previous video and this and I still have another video that I'll show you that is from the same person and it's all got to do with the same haul so with that stay tuned for my next video I'll try to get that up as soon as possible and everybody have a good day and I'll see you next time. Take care. Keep them lit. Peace. Bye now. I forgot one thing. Shout out to Briar Patch Lad for doing the salt treatment. That's where I got the salt treatment idea and I will show my Zippo collection in the near future. Thanks. Bye now.